a no to Epicurus and his stupid riddle. In his heart there is no God. The scriptures say the fool hath said. And Epicurus made up his riddle. But alas! That fool is dead. And what riddle? That fool did ask. Any fool can easily reply. And can do so with such ease. And poetry. It shows his riddle was just a lie. Can you live by the same judgments you make? Or are they just for everyone else? In the fashion of any old hypocrite. That just justifies. Himself. Let's see. Let it be asked of you Epicurus. Though as a fool. He's long since died. If you Epicurus really were a good man. Why did you Epicurus. Tell such a lie. And if you Epicurus. Cannot answer. Your own riddle that you yourself did write. What kind of fool should quote you. And claim their reason has found the light. So here's the question that answers you. Since you see yourself so wise. What can you see but darkness? If you never open up your eyes. No one can see. What they will not see. Nor learn what they refuse to know. But claiming your ignorance. Is also your proof. Well. That's just stupid. To the bone. And though to Epicurus this is written. He can't read it because he's dead. But hopefully it will dissuade. At least one fool. From what he said. So. You claim God does not exist. Because he doesn't do. Whatever you think he should. But humanity is base. And lustful self. Well. That's perfectly fine. And even good. Really. Well here's the riddle that you two face. And you conveniently choose to forget. The same paradox with which you nullify God. Proves you're just twisted. Inside your head. And here is now the proof of it. Set forth. In lovely prose. Spoken by a choppy computer voice. To rotting Epicurus. Down below. If you're able. But not willing. To stop yourself from your own evil. It can't be said that you are good. And such is true of all people. Because if you're able. But not willing. It also can't be said you're even wise. So your wisdom is just foolishness. And your logic is filled with lies. And if you're willing. But not able. To stop speaking those deceptions. Then what is speaking through you. Is pure evil from its conception. And if it is moral evil. From conception. You will to do. How could you stand in judgment of God. When it is evil that is coming through you. If you're able to stop your evil. But unwilling to make that choice. Why should anyone listen to you. When evil. Is what you voice. And if you're willing. But not able. Then you're evil because you're weak. And your evil is an uncontrolled compulsion. That forms each word. That you do speak. So why would anyone listen. To such an evil man. Like you. To be the arrogant. Judge of God. For what you think. Almighty God should do. Oh poor Epicurus. If you were able. To know God. But unwilling to even learn how. Why is your ignorance on that subject. A model. For so many fools like you. Now. And if you weren't even able. To know God in any way. Why is such. Total incompetence. An excuse. For all the evil men of today. So either. You were just plain evil. Epicurus. Or you were an incompetent. And boorish fool. And what was speaking through you. Made you. A snaky and evil tool. If God does in fact exist. Whether for good. Evil. Or just in the middle. Only a very foolish. And evil man. Would make up. Such a stupid riddle. Because. If you can't even pass. Your own paradoxal dichotomous test. It hardly should become the measure. Of all in the universe. That's best. As for you and your arrogant riddle. The answer's already quite complete. God is able to stop our evil. But unwilling. To make us extinct. God is able to prevent our evil. But unwilling. To charge the case. Because if God killed off every single evil fool. 
It would destroy the human race. Epicurus. You were just another mortal fool who destroyed your life with vain excuses. And you left nothing behind you but minions of similar stooges. Is God evil or impotent for allowing us to still exist? Only an idiot like you Epicurus would ever think to so insist. Epicureans would quote your riddle. Then with sheep they would fornicate. Their minds were so filled with evil. They were famous for being reprobate. Minds riddled with such perversions. So extreme they would rape a beast. Are hardly moral authorities. On God Almighty to say the least. And only a fool would quote that fool. And reject all eternity. Because God lets life continue to live. And won't exterminate humanity. Would it not be better to let fools be fools and let the wise remain wise until our days are fulfilled and all such fools will die than to murder each and every child that was ever bad in school just so some Greek sheep fornicators would never have this tool would it not be better to have life precisely as it is and give the world its freedom than to destroy it just for Epicurus. So if anyone wants to claim God is evil for letting fools like Epicurus exist, then we are all faced with the same dilemma. Because we too tolerate fools to persist. Because we all know down deep inside it's much better to live and let live than to murder every fool that acts like a fool until we all no longer exist. Yet for this these goat fornicators call God evil, and all the fools that follow call him weak. But God knows if he killed everything evil, there'd be no one left of to speak. We have all played the fool, and done that which is in fact just evil. But the wisdom of God for all mankind is to show mercy to all people. It's both God's goodness and his strength that forgives us and forbears and allows fools like us to keep on living so we can learn until we're there.